so hi guys welcome to my channel and uh, in this video I just want to show you how to use Excel to analyze the data I mean uh, for forestry data for environmental data and agriculture data and economical data and um, you know in this video I just want to show you uh, two main points the first point I want to show you how to download the the Excel data file for you to practice at home and the second part I want to show you how to calculate descriptive statistics in in Excel okay so uh, now I want to move on to the first point so I want to show you how to uh, download uh, you know the Excel file for you so firstly I want you to open my website and my website is learningatbn.info like this type this one and then enter and so after that you will go, go a bit down and you can see this uh, link so I just uh, wrote in two languages uh, Vietnamese and English so you just click on that you know data documents for data and documents for statistical data analysis course for forestry agriculture environment and uh, economics so click on that and you can see in mix below here and so if you want to download the file so just click here data file click here and uh, don't worry because if you don't know the uh, website and don't remember the link so I will put the link in the description of uh, the video so you just click on that and uh, after that you can uh, click on this button because I uploaded the files to Google Drive so uh, click on here and uh, you know wait for some seconds so uh, I mean downloading is finished and after that you want I want you to open the downloaded file normally it uh, will be in download folder and in, in my case download folder here so I really want you to you know to right I mean cut it right click and cut it and you know you can uh, create a folder in D drive I mean right click and choose new and to folder and then you can uh, type Excel so analysis okay and you can enter and paste and right click and choose paste so you can get this file here and after that I want you to, to show you how to unzip the file so right click and then choose extract here okay and type the password the password is Hengui Vlog so without capital letter without tones and without space okay remember the password is Hengui Vlog without tones without capital letters and space okay and after that you can see you know the one excel file here so uh, you can change the name because I, I wrote it in Vietnamese so you can open it but don't worry because you can open it and uh, in the seat I just you know I uh, wrote in two languages I write in two languages I mean English here so you can see data for some markets and you know there are four spreadsheets so first we are control environments and economics data so you can choose what you want to to do and you can choose relevant data set for you and uh, that's it so that's the first point download and prepare the data files and now I want to show you how to calculate distributed statistics in Excel and I really want to share with you some you know some uh, something about descriptive statistics but uh, firstly I really want to show you how to calculate descriptive statistics in Excel so you just go to data and then you open click on data analysis here open it and after that you choose descriptive statistics here and then hit OK and now I want you to use the forestry data first I mean the data for the building for example 
It includes a uh, load diameter con width two to a high and commercial high, for example. And for input range, you just select the area uh, you have the data. So click on this button just to minimize the window, and then you can you know you can select this one. I mean. And then you can select, I mean, the data here. Okay, the data area. Okay, and uh, something like this. Let's let me try this one first. I mean, very quickly. So hopefully, I I can do it for you. And maybe just wait for me one second, because I want to test. But it's the first time for me to to use this way. Okay, and then okay. Okay, so now this cannot it doesn't work. Okay, so you know I want to no sorry, but now I want to go back to I mean input range. So you click on this one and choose the area. I mean you know I mean here I choose like this okay and I mean here's the title just diameter in Vietnamese so I just uh, include it in selecting in the selected area okay and you know the data is uh, ranged in column one column so you just two column here and if the data lies in one row I mean in one row so you can choose rows you must two rows and you know that in you can see here I select the title even the label for the variable for the data and the title in the first row so you have to tick here labels in the first row so remember tick here after that you have to click on output range and you can click on this button to minimize it and after that you choose I mean one cell I mean any cell you want to just to put output there so output will be there so you just choose one cell I mean any cell and after that I want you to tick on summary statistics so you have to tick, make sure that you tick here summary statistics and then okay so you can get the results here and here's the diameter, but it's yeah, in Vietnamese, but I just want to show you this diameter. And here's uh, some, you know, descriptive statistic. Now I want to show you how, uh, I mean, what are they and the meanings of descriptive statistics. So, you know, descriptive statistics are value to describe the data set. I mean, for, for example, it's central tendencies or I mean variants. I mean variations of the values in the data sets or the the set of the distribution. I mean data distribution set. So you know I want to show you the mean. Here's the mean. So because you know I can't uh, explain you the own formula, so I just want to show you how to understand the results. Because you can search. I mean you can Google it and you know I mean immediately the formula of mean how to calculate it but you know we are applied statistics so sometimes we don't need to know the formulas exactly but more important thing is that you have to understand the meanings of, uh, of them I mean their meaning so, so here's the mean so the mean shows how big the data set is that mean is that big or is it smaller or is it bigger compared to other uh, other data sets and median millions just the middle values of the data sets and more is uh, most often occur the value in the data set I mean the value occurs most often in the data set and standard deviation is show you the variations of uh, value in the data set and I just want to show you and variant just a uh, square of uh, standard deviation and I just want to show you I mean 
more details or more understanding uh, variance. So for, uh, for example, if you want to, uh, to, if you have two data sets, it's A, so for even edge plantation, so you can see, for example, the height. So you see for even edge trees, so you can see they are, uh, the difference is not significant. I mean, between trees, between minimums and maximum, and we, I have data set B is natural forest, I mean, old growth forest, for example. So there's some big tree, very high, super high tree, and some smaller trees here. So, you know, for A data set, you can see the difference between smallest values and the biggest value is not significant. And, but for data set B, so the, the difference between the maximum and minimum is super big. So, so you know, for A, we will get smaller, remember, smaller standard deviation and variance. But for B, we can, will get bigger uh, standard deviation and uh, variance. Because, you know, so that's why I said that standard deviation and variance they show the variations of data set. Okay, so now you understand A is smaller uh, standard deviation and variance, and B will be bigger, bigger variance and uh, standard deviation. And the uh, next one is kurtosis, so just to show the, you know, the picnets, the picnets of uh, the distribution. So now I want to show you something about, you know, piglets, I mean, I mean the crystal six. So for example, we have the distribution. And if the crystal six is zero, I mean K is zero. So, you know, it's very close to the normal distribution. So if you want to understand normal distribution, so you just, uh, I mean Google, so it's very easy to understand. And if the k is, you know, greater than zero, k is greater than zero. So you can see that it's more picked compared to the normal distribution. I mean, the pick is higher. And uh, if the k is, you know, if the k is less than zero, so you know the pick is lower uh, than the normal distribution. And you, you see in this case, so the K is negative. So you know the distribution will be lower compared to the compared to the normal distribution. And so you know range, I don't know, uh, skew needs. So skew needs, so, so also asymmetry, asymmetry of the, of the distribution. And now I want to show you something with that. So, for example, if I have the distribution like this, so, and if, you know, if the skewness is zero, skewness is zero, so it's like this. It's very similar to, very close to the normal distribution and very uh, asymmetric. I mean, uh, like a bell shape. But, uh, you know, if the skewness is greater than zero, I mean, if the S is greater than zero, so you can see that is a positive skew. I mean, the peak is in the left compared to the mean. Okay, so it will be like this. And if the skewness is less than zero, so it will be, you know, it will be the negative skew. So the peak will lie on to the right of the mean. So remember that. So go back to our reason. So here you see you see skewness is greater than zero. So you know that uh, you know the the distribution is positive skew. Okay. So. And here's the range. Uh, the range is just an uh, interval. I mean, an intervals uh, between maximum and minimum values. I mean, just difference between max and mean values. And mean and max, they are biggest. No, no. Mean is the smallest values in the data set. Of course, very easy. And maximum is, you know, the maximum values in the data set. 
and counts count is the number of individuals we are tracking we are testing so you see here we measure uh, 35 trees so you know uh, here counts is 35 just the sample size I mean number of elements or individuals we want to to analyze okay so uh, now I finish the I mean to calculate this 50 statistic for one column but now I want to show you how to calculate for many many columns at the same time I mean with different variables at the same time and Excel can can do it okay so for example now I go to data again and data analysis and descriptive statistics and hit OK and I delete it remember I have to select and delete it and click on this and now remember look carefully so I select all of them I mean diameter, crons, uh, total high and commercial height all of them at the same time okay and so after that I choose column I choose label in the first row because you know that uh, I select uh, I mean uh, including titles labels so I have to select them and click on outputs and then I just you know click on this button and choose any cell you want to put the output there so I just select this cell and remember you have to click on summary statistics and okay so now you can see <coughs> excuse me uh, Excel will calculate the discrete statistic for all variables you select so look so take a look here's for diameter so it's in Vietnamese so I just, but I want to tell you it's uh, diameter and here's this uh, crown weights and here's this total height and here is uh, commercial height results so you can see you know I mean at the same time you can calculate for own variables okay and here is uh, now where I want to move on to agriculture so here is the data for agriculture so data for different provinces and P P205 percent rainfall humidity and productivity and you know I just uh, run it and for example I want to calculate this with this statistic for you know typing proven so I just click on data and data analysis again and this with the statistics and then OK and delete this one and then hit button just to minimize the window and then select all of them including the titles and and after that I choose column of course this column so you don't need to, don't need to click on that and uh, tick on labels in the first row and then choose output range and delete this um, information and then choose uh, a cell you want to put the data I mean outputs and then tick here I mean make sure that this uh, box was I mean this box is ticked I mean you tick here so and okay so you can see you can see you can get the own results this could be statistic for you know you know own uh, selected variables you see so you know for P, P2 OS is here you know and uh, for rainfall is here again okay so if you want to understand uh, what are they so uh, maybe you can go back to previous part and productivity for you know for the rice in Vietnam and now we I want to give you some uh, detail about the productivities so the mean is um, 11.8 I mean um, uh, 100 kilograms per hectare and uh, standard deviation is 5.8 sample percent uh, variance is 33.8 and you know coastal city is negative so what does it mean so it's lower uh, compared to the normal distribution and skill needs you know uh, it's positive so it's positive skill so the pick will be in the is left so range minimum maximum and top. okay 
So now for the environment. So environments I collected some data for different districts like humidity, pH, and nitrogen, nitrogen, and uh, contents of uh, carbon, carbon contents in the soil. And now I want to calculate uh, discrete statistics for them. So I just uh, go to data and then data analysis and then descriptive statistics and then OK and then I choose um, the areas I want to analyze I mean own variables I want to analyze and column and make sure that you tick here because you know the first column is labels and then I uh, choose uh, output range any cell we want and make sure that this box is ticked and OK so you know you can get all results for, you know, for all variables at the same time, very quickly. So here's for humidity, you know. I sorry, it's in Vietnamese, but uh, I can translate for you. And it's pH, nitrogen contents, and here's the carbon contents in the soil, for example. Okay, so you can see you get we got all results, and now we move on to economics. So I just uh, show you some uh, economical data, economic data. So here's the age and firewood, bamboo, and income. I mean income for each family per month. I uh, know for uh, per year. So now I want to calculate for them the data again, data analysis and descriptive statistic. Hit OK and delete it and you know you select on the data area for all variables you want to calculate this with these statistics and then uh, click on labels in the first row because you know that the labels are in the first row and you know um, and after that you have to choose uh, output range and then click here and choose one cell any cell you want to display outputs and tick here summary statistics and hit OK. So you can see you can get all results in one second. So okay. So here's the edge. You know you can get the result for the edge, and here's the result for a firewood, and here's the result descriptive statistic result for. Bamboo and here's the income. So maybe I can um, talk about the income a bit. So the mean income will be 78 million BND per, per year. And uh, median is just middle. I mean, median is the middle values in the data set. So it's uh, 48. No, 64. Most is the value of, I mean, occur most often in the data set. And standard deviation and variance uh, show the variation of values in the data set. And custos is so you know the picnics, the degree of picnics of the distribution. And skill list uh, just shows the, the asymmetry of the distribution is uh, positive skill or is uh, negative skill. So custos is here's, uh, you know, you see, here's the uh, uh, positive. So positive, that means the distribution is higher uh, compared to normal distribution. And skewness is positive also, so you can see it's positive skew, so the peak will be in the left of uh, the mean. Minimum, range, minimum, maximum, I mean the, I mean the poorest family is uh, 25 uh, million BND per year. And the richest family is uh, 237, 300, 237 BND, um, million BND per year. And here's the uh, number of households we investigated. Okay, so that's all for this video and thank you very much for watching and uh, hopefully you can enjoy it and you can calculate this pretty statistics for the data. And if you have any problem with understanding some descriptive statistics, so just uh, you know, give me some comments uh, below the video, and uh, and please give me you know subscribe my channel or like or share my video, 
just to promote me to produce more videos for you guys in the future. Thank you very much for listening.